Okay, this is my 3D printed version of the Radicon robot using the Coherer 2 detector system. There's no transistors, there's no integrated circuits, there's no vacuum tubes involved. Even the transmitter doesn't require batteries. It's using a barbecue igniter, which is a piezo spark igniter. It has an antenna to amplify it. The robot has an antenna for the detector circuit. This particular robot I built uh, before I had made the uh, the meter relay. This one has the uh, read relay switch in it. Seems to work quite well. There's uh, two batteries that control the motor and the eye lights and then there's a single battery that controls the detector circuit and it should be able to detect every time I send it a signal. It's using the dual base drive and the, the sequencer, the me mechanical sequencer which I've posted up on my channel. So every time I give it a pulse, it should sequence to the next one. In other words, uh, go forward should be the first, and then it's going to turn in one direction. Then it should go forward in that new direction. Then it should uh, turn the other direction. Then it should go forward in that new direction, and then it should stop. So every time it's receiving something, the little green light should light up in the chest. So there's your go forward. So there it is turning. When you get the direction you want to go in, you click it again. Now you can turn in a new direction. And you can go off in a new direction. Then it'll stop. And of course, if you hit it again, you'll start the whole thing all over again. And this is the same way that the 1958 Radicon robot worked. So, batteries in the back.